In this tutorial, I'm going to go over creating a virtual disk using the Disk Part tool, tool. It's a command line interface tool. It's also part of the Windows installation DVD and the repair section of that DVD. So if you need to repair an installation or configure a specific installation, for instance, if you were installing uh, Windows 7 onto a virtual hard disk that's all encapsulated into a single file, then you'd have to use uh, the repair method and create a custom configuration and custom virtual disk using the disk part tool. So first thing you do is you go to start and we're going to run command line as a administrator. Then the command to get into the disk part utility is just disk part. Once you're into the disk part utility you can list off your different devices by typing list and then disks. And these are the different disks, disks that I have on the system right now. You can also do list by just typing in list and you can list off the partition, the volume, or the disk. So first thing to do is select a disk. One list partition have partition one and we have volume E. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a virtual disk and I'm going to put it um, on my E folder. So, so I'm going to create a virtual hard disk under my E, e drive and I'm going to allocate a maximum of 20 gigabytes in size. The virtual hard drive container file can contain multiple partitions and multiple volumes. It's, it's just like a physical hard drive except it's all stored in one file and it's on your uh, it's not a, a physical hard drive. So the command to do that is create vdisk then you specify the file location where it will be stored. So I'm going to do E my virtual disk EHD and then set the maximum so right now it's just allocating that space into this virtual hard disk now it's not partitioned or anything so the next thing we'll need to do is attach that virtual disk that we just created, but let's check it out first. There is the file, my virtual hard disk. So we need to select VDisk and specify the file location and it's e colon slash my virtual disk dot vhd so now we've selected it and we need to attach it so vdisk attach vdisk so now it is now attached now if we were to go to the um, hard drive manager or the storage manager under disk management. I don't want to do anything with it yet. So there it is. Disk 2 uninitialized. So what we have to do is configure this disk now. So we will okay. So I selected disk 2, that's actually the online virtual disk. Now I'm going to create a partition primary. And this is going to be a bootable partition. Then we need to list partition, select partition 1, oops, format. So now this is just formatting that partition. So basically we selected the disk, 
then we use the command create partition primary. Primary makes it so it's bootable. And then we needed to select that partition that we created. And then once we selected it, we're now in that partition. You just type in the format command and it will format the hard drive. The next step we're going to do is to assign a drive letter to the drive. Partition's all set up. So now we just hit assign letter and then give it a drive letter. Let's call it uh, V for virtual. All right, so let's refresh our disk manager here. And there is our V for virtual drive. And now it can be used as just like any other hard drive on the system. Copy files to it. And when you're done with the drive, the first thing we will need to do is select the virtual disk. So we type select vdisk, type in the file, e, my virtual disk, that vhd, and just type detach vdisk. Done. So now if I go back to the drive, it's no longer there. Now you can take this virtual disk, which is all stored in this one file, and you can um, copy it to any other computer and it'll be there just like any other drive. You can e even uh, create other partitions on it, just like any other drive. But the disk part utility is this is kind of vital. You need to know how to use it. So, at any time you can type help, and it'll give you a list of the commands. 